Now, uh, the other fascinating thing that we're going to do on the program tonight, uh, on April 7th, 1999, we uh, met a young man. He was 16 years old at the time named Paul Fiore. You remember Paul? Oh, very well. Paul Fiore. We had him come on uh, the show, and he was out on 53rd Street. He and his father were in the family car, and Paul was uh, trying to parallel park. He had his uh, learner's permit or his beginning yeah. driving permit, yeah. and he was testing his parallel parking skills because he knew that, uh, I guess, when he turned 17, he would be taking his actual driving test. And in the state of New Jersey, I'm told now, you have to be 17, 17. years old. To get... Well, today is the day, and uh, Paul, on the show tonight, Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be very exciting. We'll be taking his New Jersey driver's license driving test right here live on the show. Very nice kid. He attends uh, Nutley uh, High School and uh, lives in Nutley, New Jersey, and uh, couldn't be a nicer kid. He's a great uh, Now, here's, here's, take a look at his experience parallel parking, because it'll be part of the test. This is April 7th, 1999. Actually, this doesn't look that bad compared to later attempts. We're rubbing a little paint. All right, this is May 4th, a month later, 1999. He curbed it. Here we go, September 21st, 1999. <laughs> So you see what happened. I'm afraid it looks to me like the kid peaked a little early. Well, he got worse. Didn't yeah, he? but no, uh, no more excuses uh, because tonight is the night. He gets one chance to pass the test. I understand he's passed the written exam, but oh. tonight he'll be taking the driving portion All right, of that test. All right, let's turn on the uh, big uh, CBS satellite. Let's go live out to New Jersey where he will be taking his road test. Hey, Paul, how you doing? All right, Dave. Today is the day. It sure is. Congratulations and good luck, my friend. How Thank do you, you feel? I feel all right. Did you do anything uh, by way of special preparation for the big day? Not really. Yeah. Not. Atta boy. Are you confident? I'm confident, yes. All right. And uh, the gentleman to your right is uh, whom? Bob Calderon. Hi, Paul. Bob? Uh, Paul. Bob. Bob. Right. Bob and Paul. All right. And you are the uh, examiner that's going to be giving the test? Correct. All right, and uh, tell us now, what are we looking at? What are the uh, phases of the test he's got to complete here tonight? Okay, there's three phases of the test. The first one's going to be the right turn at a stop sign where he'll make a complete okay. turn. A now, this one, this one sounds pretty easy. You yeah, can do this, can't line. you, Paul? You can do this, Paul. I, yeah, that's yeah. easy. <laughs> Paul, I love the happening necklace. Okay, so that's phase one. Right turn at a stop sign. All right, Bob, what's phase two? Phase two is a K turn or a three point turn. We All right, it's a three point it. turn. Can you break that down for us into three parts? How, how do you make that three point turn, the K turn? It's, it's, it's trickier than it sounds, isn't it? It's trickier than it sounds. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You have to put his signal on, check traffic. Uh huh. He'll make the turn to the left, he'll back up, and then he'll pull up to the right, and that will be the three point okay, turn. Okay, now the K turn, unless I'm uh, mistaken here, replaced the old J turn. Is that correct? I believe so, yes. It improved upon it. I think it did, yeah. Paul, how do you feel right now? you you got to be a little nervous, aren't you, my friend? I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> did you go to school today? I went to school. Oh, you went I to left school. early. You probably you left early, that a boy. And, uh... <laughs> uh, all right, Bob, what is phase three of the big test? Phase three is this, parallel parking. Parallel parking, all right. Uh, now, we all know what this is. Now, now Bob, uh, is this a judgment call? Is this completely uh, subjective, or is there any way to objectively determine a successful parallel parking job? Uh, he's got to be a certain distance from the curb, and uh -huh. um, of course, he doesn't want to hit anything. Yeah. <laughs> is it possible to get a license in New Jersey without a successful parallel parking attempt? Uh, it depends. Each situation is different. Uh-huh. It's so there different. is a little room for negotiation here tonight. There's a little room, yes. Th th yeah, you're shaking your head, Paul, because this is what's been haunting you for six months, hasn't it? <laughs> the, the parallel parking. Have you been doing any parallel parking? Yeah, I've parallel parked since then. Yeah, and, and you feel like you can drill it tonight. You'll nail it, right? Am I right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we have videotape that says otherwise. <laughs> Man alive, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Okay, now... Uh, so at the end of the day, chances are, what do you think, Bob? He'll, he'll walk, he'll drive home with the license, or, or Dad will have to come and drive him home? Well, hopefully he'll drive home tonight. Good. You're looking to put him in traffic. That's what you want to do. Is that right? Yeah, I'll put him in you traffic. You want to get him over the curb and in traffic tonight. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, this is exciting. Paul, any right. questions for the team here? No, I, I, I can't wait to see it. Okay, all right, Paul. So uh, we're just going to sit back now and, and watch. Uh, the first uh, segment of the test is the uh, come to, to a stop and, and turn right. Was that the first segment of the test? Yes, that's correct. Okay, all right, there yes. we go. Okay, take it away. Here we go. Good luck and Godspeed, Paul. Now, we can't talk to them after the test begins, so here we go. Okay. All right, be careful. Okay. No cowboy stuff, okay. Paul, you know Good what I'm try. saying? Uh, there's Biff with a gun. <laughs> It's like a nice day in New Jersey, huh? Wow, look at this. We got a camera right in the car. You know, we can put this together in home video and make a million dollars selling a driver's aid, uh, driver's ed. <laughs> got the Channel 2 helicopter covering it. It's a big, big night in Wayne, New Jersey. All right, here we go. This is the first real test of man and machine. Ah, there's the stop sign. Okay, this is gonna be, all right, is the signal on? Is the, I don't see the signal. Oh, he signaled a little. Did he signal a little? <laughs> I don't know. Did he signal a little late for that turn? Huh? Well, I mean, didn't he creep up to the stop sign and then sort of turn it on? Or, or like 400 feet before you change lanes or anything? Isn't that right, Paul? I think you're right, yeah. I think this thing's over. <laughs> Back up the crew, we can save some money. <laughs> Shut Back. down the satellite. Bring the boys up. No, I'd be very surprised. Was that early enough, the signal? I think it might have been okay. Really? 10 to... feet from the stop sign, you can signal? <laughs> well, things just... have changed since I was a kid. Could just for, for my sake, could we look at the videotape to see where... There it is. No, there no, no, is. no, back it up before, because I don't think it was on as he approached the sign. There it is. No, it, it, he puts it on. Am I right or am I nuts here? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you, you beat the clock, we stopped the clock. <laughs> you got a ruling on that, I guess. You see this... You see this happen all the time in, in sports. You know, one, one week a team will have an easy game and they'll look beyond that easy game to the tougher game down the road, down the schedule. I think that's what the kid has done. I see. He was concentrating on the parallel parking yeah. and, may, and may have uh, fumbled yeah. this little <laughs> turning on the... Well, we don't know. Maybe what do you, you mean you don't know? You can't signal 10 feet and be... be you got to give people other... There are other motorists on the road. Well, I never thought of it that way. Oh, you never thought of it that way. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, that was uh, Paul Fiore, who's taking right now in Wayne, New Jersey, taking his uh, driving test to get his uh, first time ever uh, New Jersey driver's license. And, and uh, state law prohibits us uh, televising uh, certain portions of the test. Really? Yeah, but well, you saw them just finishing up on it. We've already seen the, uh, the signal and the turn. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know. We have a ruling on that yet? Or? I don't know. Uh, Paul is uh, driving and his instructor is Bob Calderon. And if you know anything about driving tests, you know he's, he's the best. It, he really is. <laughs> he is. He's just, yeah. He is the good. Uh, my friend, Bob Calderon is the gold standard for driving tests. All right. So next, uh, next week, there he is right there. Next, they'll be doing the, uh, I think what they have next is the uh, K-turn, and here's what the K-turn looks like. We put together this little animation. It's, it's, see there? Wow. That's more complicated than I thought. Yeah. Let me see that again. Apparently, you pull in and then turn the car over. Let me see if they, yeah, all right, then you jack it up, turn it over. And then you back out. So you actually have to roll the car over. Wow. Wow, thank God I don't have to take a driving Man, test. I'll I'd say, be, yeah. I'd, I mean, with my neck and my back, I'd ah, be screwed. Be terrible, yeah. uh, okay, so it's the K-turn. Are we ready to see if yes. they... Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Fiore and uh, Bob Calderon. And uh, that's the massive uh, driving training testing complex in Wayne, New Jersey. Uh, that generates about 80% of the revenue for the town of Wayne, New Jersey. The, the driving test facility they have out there. And you can see why people come from all over the world. All right, here we go. This will be the K-turn. And we're looking at you now. These pictures coming live from Chopper 2. Give you an idea what's going on in the world of news today. Okay. I was hoping to see some blue smoke. <laughs> Smell a little rubber here.
Certainly not as exciting as the animation, was it? <laughs> that, that was it? That was the K-turn? Yeah. Okay, well, I, th I just thought we'd see a little something, you know? The doors hanging open and, yeah. you know, the old bootleg turn, blue smoke, tires screaming, that kind of thing? Yeah. All right. Okay, so that means now he only has the uh, dreaded parallel parking ahead of him. So keep your fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Light a candle for the kid, all right? <laughs> huh? <clears throat> parallel parking. I don't need to tell you that uh, personally, emotionally, and sociologically, this is a big moment in any kid's life. Because if, if, he, if he passes the test, he's a big man all of a sudden. He's I'll like say. a big shot. Yeah. If he doesn't pass the test, he spends the rest of his life as a dweeb. <laughs> That's what's at stake here. It's huge. Yeah, it's all right. huge. <laughs> a little upset. He looked a little upset. Well, it's the tension of it. I think uh, maybe he knows about that turn signal thing, you know? Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen it a million times on television. That's the Wayne, New Jersey Driver uh, License Testing Center. And now we're going to go back out to uh, Paul Fiore and his uh, driving instructor, Bob Calderon. And, and if you're scoring at home, I don't know. It looked to me like there might have been trouble with the first round. Uh, Harold Letterman gave the first round to the instructor, and the second round went to the kid. So let's just see. We're now up to the crucial parallel parking. This is the make or the break. Here now is what we're looking for in the parallel park. Take a look at this. Here is, here's how you successfully <laughs> parallel park. Like that. There you go. Now that's how you... That's, how you, that's a bad job of parallel parking. All right, uh, turn on the satellite. Let's go back out there. Here we go. Take it away. This, oh, it's getting dark. Now, see, this is, this is something I hadn't counted on. He's now got a parallel park in the dark. He's got the, got the high beams on. Here we go. This could determine the future of this man's life. Here we go. He's in motion now. Got plenty of room. I must say, this looks like it's pretty easy. This looks like a done deal to, to me. Chill the champagne, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now he's backing up. Well, wait a minute. Wait, easy. Yeah, here we go. You put the Queen Mary in there, for God's sake. All right, get the, get the stern thrusters ready. We're coming ashore. <laughs> well, it ain't up to me. It's, it's up to the state of New Jersey now. It's in the hands of... Bob Calderon, let's, oh, he's gonna, gonna give him another shot. It looks like, got a very generous uh, driving instructor. Gonna try it again. Okay. Kind of thing, you know, later in life, by the time he parallel parks, the party will be over. There's no point in getting out of the car. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute, he's doing, doing something highly dangerous. I've never seen. He's perpendicular parking, but he's signaling. We're gonna, we're gonna have to give it to him. He signaled. What the hell's going on out there? Maybe a leak in the muffler. What is happening? All right, looks like a little tension in the cockpit. All right, that's fine. What is, what exactly? Well, it's just. I guess sad they've, now. They've, they've waved. What are they just? Are they going? Bye. What are they? There you have it. All right. Well, we'll find out. No, no, wait a minute. It may be all right. We'll be, we'll be back to find out how the kid did. Is Bob uh, handy? Bob, can I talk to you? Where is Bob Calderon? Bob, uh, how did it go, sir? He went pretty well, Dave. Let me ask you a question on that first thing. Did he signal too late or did he signal uh, on time, making that he, right turn? He was on time. Really? He I thought it was time. like 400 feet we got a signal. <laughs> he was on time. All right. And how did the rest of the test go? Not too bad, Dave. All right. Not too bad. So what is the verdict here? Paul, on behalf of the New Jersey Division of Motor Vehicle, I'm happy to announce you passed your he test. You passed the test. <laughs> The governor of the great state of New Jersey, Christine Todd Whitman. I got a little something for you that you've, uh, a little something for you here that you've earned. 
Congratulations. Well Thanks. done after all this. I don't know how you passed it. Thank you very much, Governor. Congratulations, Paul. Stay off the turnpike, New Jersey. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night with John Malkovich. Uh, uh, Craig Kilborn is next. Good night, everybody.